I'm a web show host, but I'm an expert at The Office. I work PR at Special Effect Company, but I'm an expert at Mariah Carey. I'm an actor and YouTube producer, but I'm an expert on Stephen King. Welcome, experts. Welcome to the game. The game, as you know, is played in four rounds. We're going to begin with round one, where you'll each answer ten questions. Kurt, we are going to start with you. All right. You are our expert in The Office, That's the right. U.S. television show. Here we go, Kurt. Okay. Question one, aside from Dunder, Mifflin and, I, Mifflin and INC, what two other words are on the company logo? A paper company? That is correct. Who is assistant regional manager after being promoted from assistant to the regional manager? Wait, Dwight Schrute? That's correct. Question three, what does Michael accidentally burn his foot on in season George three? Foreman, George Foreman grill. A George Foreman grill is right. Question four, during what season did Steve Carell leave the series? Season seven. That's right, four for four. This is question five. In the season one ep episode, Hot Girl, what does Michael let Amy Adams' character sell from the Purses. conference room? Purses is right. Question six, what does Dwight give Angela on Valentine's Day? A key to his apartment. A key is right. Or his house. You have not gotten one wrong, Kurt. Here cool. we go. In the season three episode, Beach Games, what is Andy wearing when he floats away on the lake? One of those giant sumo wrestler outfits. <laughs> yes, you got it. <laughs> Question eight, when Dwight tricks the staff of Michael Scott paper into leaving the office for a little while, what does he put in the air vent while they're gone? Dead fish? Dead fish, you got it. Question nine, in the season four episode, Money, what themed room do Jim and Pam stay in at Schrute Farms? What's the name? Uh, uh, there's pipes in it and stuff. I do, I'm sorry, I don't know. Pass. It's the irrigation ah. room. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there's pipes in it and stuff. <laughs> All right, your last question, you've gotten just one wrong. As seen in the pilot, what is Jim's very first prank on the show? Putting a stapler in jelly, jello? Yep, he puts a stapler in jello. Very well done. Wow. Travis, you have your work cut out for you, you, sir. I'm just here to look pretty. <laughs> you you uh, are an expert in the category of Stephen King. Here we go. Question one, what was Stephen King's first novel published by Doubleday in 1974? Carrie. Carrie's right. What significant event in King's life occurred in Lavelle, Maine? Well, Maine. Um, he, uh, he had his first child, and he was hit by a car. Oh, question well, three. So close. So close. What 2011 novel's title was a specific date in history, month, day, and year? Uh, uh, uh 11, 1963. 11, 1963? No. Uh, it was 1122, oh. 22. Yeah. The day that Kennedy was then. shot. Yes, I know. <laughs> From what college did Stephen King graduate? Uh, University of Maine. That's right. What is King's only novel titled with a person's first and last name? Oh, God, I read it. Uh, oh, uh, uh, an the girl who loved Tom Gordon. Uh, it's uh, Dolores Claiborne. Dolores Claiborne. In what town is Salem's Lot oh, set? Uh, Jerusalem's Lot. That's correct. What King short story was turned into a web comic book in 2012 and ran in eight installments? N period? What's that? N period? L Little Green God of Agony. Little Green God of Agony. Oh. What is the title of King's nonfiction book about his chosen profession? On writing. On writing is correct. In what novel is Edgar Fremantle the protagonist? <laughs> That's a good one. I, I don't it's know. It's Duma Key. And finally, who piloted the alien spaceship unearthed by Bobby Anderson and Jim Gardner? <sighs> what? It, it, it wouldn't be the. That's not the giant turtle. Um, giant turtle. Okay, it's the Tommy Knockers. Oh, the the, Tommy yes, knockers. yes. Uh, Pablo, we go to you now. Your category is Mariah Carey. Pablo, your first question. What Mariah Carey song spent a record of 16 weeks? One Sweet Day with Boyz II Men. Wow, I couldn't even finish. <laughs> there you go. How old was Mariah when she released her debut album in 1990? 20 years old. 20 years old is right. Mariah Carey's vocal range is famously how many octaves? 
Five octaves. Five octaves is right. Can you do five octaves right no. now? No. Okay. okay. Uh, question four. What was the name of Mariah's 2010 tour? The 2010 tour with Angel's Advocate. Angel's Advocate, four for four. In the song Vision of Love, Mariah says she, quote, prayed through the nights, felt so alone, suffered from what? Alienation. Alienation is right. Question six. In what 2008 Adam Sandler movie does Mariah make a cameo? You don't mess with Dohan. You don't mess, apparently, with Pablo either. Six <laughs> for six. Question seven. Name any of the three songs from Glitter that Mariah did not write. Um, last night a DJ saved my life. Okay. Also her cover of um, Didn't Mean to Turn You On. I don't remember the third one. Now you're, sh now you're showing off, but you didn't know the third, so you have to stop showing off. It's all my life. Question eight. What are the first names of her two children? Uh, Moroccan and Monroe. Moroccan and Monroe, baby. Monroe. <laughs> Moroccan. Um, what is the first word in the names of half the perfumes Mariah has created? First word in half the name, lollipop. Lollipop is right. And this is your 10th question, going for perfect. After signing a deal with Virgin in 2001 worth between 80 and $100 million, how many albums did Mariah eventually release on the Just label? the Glitter soundtrack. Just one Got is right. Got $49 million. 10 for 10, gentlemen. Well done. We'll see you in round two. Check out my YouTube, Geeking Out On. But for now, click here to go to the next round. Woohoo!